and as customers plan to migrate from Oracle Java to an open JDK distribution, uh, how is the process? Because as you said, a lot of folks are already moving, so that means that things are already in place. But what does the process look like? How much work it requires? And how do company as will help them as well? Uh, what they can expect? Uh, do they lose anything or is it just like a drop in replacement? So I just want to understand the whole, what does migration look like? Right. So, you know, this kind of gets into the next level of detail in terms of, you know, sort of the simple answer and then the more complex answer. When you really dive in to see what, you know, all the different versions of Java that are being used within an enterprise, it, it, it ends up being quite a long list with any sort of, you know, reasonably mature enterprises. And of course, you know, many of the companies that we work with have been in business for a long, long time, 50, 100 years. And so you can imagine a lot of applications have been built up and a lot of applications are continued to be used. When you kind of peel the onion there and you start looking at, okay, exactly what Java version are you using and what subversion of that version are you using? So, for example, Java 8, which you know, was, is still, even though it's, it's now quite old, over 10 years old, it's still uh, very commonly used. And I think the, the latest release of Java 8 is something like 380 some odd. So there's a lot of, of sub-releases within those releases. And when an, organi when an organization is, is moving from Oracle Java to um, um, something like an open JDK distribution, what we found in terms of best practice is the first thing you should do is do a like-for-like like change. So even if you're running a version of Java or a, or a sub-release, a sub-version of, of that release that is out of date, that's the first thing you should do is just move from Oracle to open JDK, but don't try to up level to a newer version of Java. Don't try to up level to a newer upgrade of that given version Do a like for like first. And that's where vendors like Azul really come into play, because if you just look at, you know, the freely, ver freely available versions of open JDK out there from Amazon or Eclipse or what have you, there is, not necessarily a direct like for like for each and every Oracle release. In the case of Azul, and you know this is kind of the business that we're in, you know, for those that that are are paying us for commercial support, we provide every single one of those like for like releases, and so again, that allows us to have a very straightforward migration for our customers. In terms of of what to expect, um, it really you know can be quite straightforward. We we've had um, customers of ours that have migrated thousands of servers literally, you know, over a weekend. And so it, it can be a very straightforward process. And, um, you know, typically enterprises are going to be conservative and they're going to want to phase uh, that migration over some period of time. But, you know, even the survey showed that 75% of organizations that have done the migration did it in under a year, which by, by enterprise time is actually quite fast. 